Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Pride and Prejudice and Zombies! So Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is basically Pride and Prejudice just with zombies. So we're in a world where it's the 19th century, but everyone is populated with all of these zombies. It's up to Lily James and her other sisters to protect themselves from these zombies and kill them. Uh, I really didn't have much expectations for this film. Not that I was dreading it. I just watched the trailers going, ah, oh, man, I, I just wasn't sure how to go into this film, honestly. I really was not that excited for it. Uh, really, the only thing I was excited for was Lily James, and that's because I loved her in Cinderella from last year. But Pride and Prejudice Zombies, I really did not have a lot of hope for, and I will say, it's still not that good. Yeah. I guess you could say it pretty much met my expectations, but not in a very good way. Not in a bad way either, just not in a good way. But there's positives to this film like Lily James. Yeah, I just finished mentioning. I loved her in Cinderella last year. I've been impressed with Lily James. I think she's a very attractive woman. She's very beautiful and she's very talented. She's honestly the best thing about this film. She looks really badass when she's fighting against the zombies. The choreography with her and her sisters, I'll actually say whenever they're fighting off zombies, it actually looks really cool. And I just really liked Lily James here. I thought she did a really good job. And the same thing could go to her other sisters. I thought her other sisters acted well. I thought her mother acted well. Uh, pretty much I thought everyone acted well in this film. I do like how the film was shot with the cinematography. I do think the zombie moments, when it's there in the film, it is honestly pretty cool. So I did like the zombie moments, believe it or not. And I did like the climax of the movie because I thought the movie movie had a very interesting climax. I also do like the score as well. The score for the film was actually pretty cool. And there was honestly some comic relief and Pride and Prejudice and Zombies that actually worked for me. And I do think it's a well-directed movie. The movie is directed in a very nice way. But I will say that the movie outside of the zombie moments in which there aren't really a whole lot of them. Yeah, that's ironic to say, because this movie is called Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. But honestly, when you look into this movie, it feels like it's basically a remake of Pride and Prejudice. This movie is really misleading when it comes to that. And I was honestly missing the zombies because whenever the movie did try to be a remake of Pride and Prejudice, it was actually quite boring. I really was really bored watching this movie anytime a zombie moment isn't happening or when there's no fighting going on. Really, the thing that was keeping me from not being completely bored from this film was still Lily James because she carried this film very well and there's other performances and here and there funny moments that did get a laugh out of me, but... Honestly, it really just doesn't come off as that good a film as a whole. The script wasn't really that well written. I know it's based off of the book, so I don't know if that's even the fault of the script or the book, but either way, I just wasn't really engaged by the script. I thought the movie had some weird execution to it, especially you saw in the trailer, but when that woman catches that other woman being a zombie, and then the whole like zoom in <laughs> like uh that scenes like that were just weird and yeah it just felt very out of place also other times the comic relief in the film didn't really work for me like definitely the humor that falls flat the most is matt smith and matt smith i thought he did good for what he could do but with his comic relief I honestly wasn't laughing. It just came off as weird, as forced, and it didn't have to really happen. Also, as you can figure, the movie is very predictable. You know where the story is going to go. And predictability is not a problem as long as I like the movie, as long as I'm engaged to the storyline. But because this movie really wasn't all that engaging, the predictability was honestly a pretty huge problem with this movie. And you know, as you can probably figure based on how I'm talking about this movie, but it is a very unfair 
focused movie. It doesn't know whether it wants to be a Pride and Prejudice movie or a zombie movie. This movie doesn't know what kind of demographic it's trying to go for. I'm sure if you love romance, then I think people that love romance probably won't mind it being a Pride and Prejudice story. But those that just want to come into this movie for the zombies, then yeah, they're going to be straight up disappointed. Overall, you guys, I didn't hate Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I think it's a fine movie. There are are some entertainment value with this movie. Lily James, as I said earlier, she looked like she was having a lot of fun with this movie. She's definitely the best thing about this movie. Really great with the choreography. The choreography with the fighting honestly is very well done, but the movie is very unfocused. It doesn't know if it wants to be another Pride and Prejudice movie or another zombie movie. It's not really all that fun. Sometimes it is, but for the majority of the movie, it really isn't. It just comes off as a bore fest and honestly that's why I'm gonna have to give Pride and Prejudice and Zombies two out of four stars. So you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think about Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Rawr. So yeah let me know what you thought of this movie. Have you read the book of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? Are you a fan of Pride and Prejudice in general? So this is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.